All right, friends, we are now going to work on our polar bear project. We're going to be putting our polar bears to our background swirled paper. This paper is so big, I can't even fit it on my camera. So what we're going to do first is work on our polar bear again now that it's dried. Yours will have the painted lines in it, but mine in my video is just the drawing for now, and that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to add a color. Um, to represent the color that will reflect on the polar bear's fur from the sun. What do you think color that's going to be? Great, it's going to be yellow. So you're not going to color the whole polar bear in with yellow, but you're going to pick one side of his body, and we're just going to, in his head, add a little yellow. And that will end up being the side that our sun's going to be on, on our paper. So see how I just added, if you want to do a little spot here and there on the other side, because sometimes you might have a little sun reflecting, that's fine. We're now going to go in and we're going to, with our pencil, add just tiny little hairs on our polar bear. You want to push light on that pencil, and we're just doing some vertical lines very gently in the head, the nose, the legs, the whole body to add some texture to make it look like our polar bear has fur. Okay, so now that I have that done, friends, I am going to get a pair of scissors and I'm going to remember scissor safety. You hold it in your hand only when you're cutting and you want to make sure that you're only cutting the paper. I put my thumb up, I come from the outside, thumb up, two to three fingers inside. I'm first going to work on cutting the outside edge of my polar bear. So I'm going to take my time, it is thick paper, and I'm going to rotate with my non-cutting hand as I'm cutting with my other hand. Now this plumber goes really fast because I've done this a lot of times. Once I have that done, I'm going to cut this little U in between my legs. But I want to be very careful because I don't want to cut his foot off. Sometimes if I go too fast, that happens. Oh, right there he is. So Miss Plummer is going to be coming around with some snow. You're going to get your swirly paper back. If you do not have swirly paper, I will just give you blue colored paper or a purple colored, some kind of colored paper. You're going to take this and you're going to make sure that your paper is the long way. I'm going to take this snow Miss Plummer gave me, add two to three lines, a couple more if I need it, with my glue stick all the way across. I'm going to flip that over and I want it to line up with the paper corner to corner. If it does not fit, it's probably because, friends, you put it on the wrong way. You need to twist your paper. I'm now going to take my polar bear and I'm going to add some glue to him. I'm going to put him, do you think he should go up here? No, he just needs to go down. His feet need to be in the snow. So I'm going to rub and I'm going to really work towards the upper part of his body because that sometimes doesn't like to stick. If I need to, I can go back in, get a little more glue under it, and rub. Alrighty, friends, when while you're working on that, Miss Plummer's going to give you a um, yellow circle for your sun. So when you go to add your sun and you want it to match the side of the polar bear's body that you added the yellow to. So am I going to add my sun on this side or this side? The first side or the second side? Great, I want to add it to the second side. So Miss Plummer's going to give you your yellow circle. And as you can see on mine, I glued it over here, okay, to match the side of the body that has the yellow on it. And that's what you're going to do. The last step is going to be done with a little bit of chalk. We're going to add some shadows below his feet with blue. In art, like we talked about, a lot of times artists will use blue to show shadows. We already kind of did that earlier in our polar bear, but now we need to add some shadows for where his feet are in the snow. So you're going to get a blue chalk pass down. You're going to do a line under his feet. And with one pointer finger, you're going to rub in circles to spread that out to create your shadows in the snow where his feet is. 
We are then going to add a little bit of shadow on the top of our snow as well, just so that it pops a little more. So I'm going to outline the top of my snow and blend with my pointer finger. Alrighty, friends. Well, that is it um, for today. So here's what your snow looks like when you're done with your sun. Perfect.